What up, what up, what up? It's your man Big Ox, a.k.a. Half of the Bass Brothers, a.k.a. a math to the Cash Brother. 2013, I'm still grinding. Shout out to my son Miles. We get to this still. So what's the deal? First and foremost, I want to say, you know, shout out to Break. I appreciate you being a part of this, you know what I'm saying? Thank like, you, thank you, bro. The nominations is really like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really worry about if I'm you know, winning nothing or beating nobody, nothing like that. But at the same time, it's cool to be representing as something that I've been working hard at for a long time. Other than that, everybody else that's getting their grind on, shout out to them, get it in, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's coming out supporting the movement like this. Been doing music for a long time, so it's cool to see things like that still going on. All right. What was hip hop? Hip hop is light to me, and music is therapy for me. Like no. that's that's one thing I will say. I've been writing my whole life, and I don't write to to please nobody. To be honest with you, like I write because it's how I write. You know, I had to pick my life. What I what in, what what inspires me? What I embrace when I when I I see life happen. You know what I'm saying? Like want some other shit. I ain't really worried. I mean, I know how to make catchy songs. I do that shit too make the money or whatever, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't really, you know, go too dumb with it and, and be going crazy on them, them avenues that people use. I don't really sweat that shit like that. But not the, the commercial side, you mean? I mean, the commercial, I mean, it's, put it like this. There is no commercial side if you're looking at it from the aspect of promoting yourself as an entity or a, a person with legit business ethics, you know what I'm saying? In the game of promoting yourself. You're not, you, you can't sell out if you're promoting yourself. You can sell out if you choose to take a very, very easy route in hopes of getting many more views because you think it's what people want. Real right. quick, not to cut you off, but you can't sell out if nobody wants to buy your shit either. You know what I mean? And that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, feel, <laughs> I feel as though that if you're on your grind for real and you're really doing what you're doing, like it's going to speak for itself. Hard work speaks for itself. Pound that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, it does, man. It does. And I feel as though that you... It, the only way that you feel inferior to anything is if you really know that you're not working hard at what you're doing. If you really don't, you know, you know, believe that you doing what you say you're doing all the way, you might feel some insecurities. As an artist, I know that. I know I love music, though. Like I said, I started that conversation off by saying it's therapy. Hip hop is is something that I've always loved to do. Writing, I started off DJing. You know what I'm saying? Like, always had my hand on music, inspired by all types of music, but um. Hip hop has always been an avenue of an exit for me, you know what I'm saying? So I utilize that shit. But um, it's cool to see where the game is going now, man. Just, there's a lot of people that really, you know, grasp hold of that, you know, that kind of like underground stronghold of a business, you know, business ethic. They, you know, get compared to how it was before. Like everybody was just trying to get famous off like one video and hoping it would go viral. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, yeah, right. When you actually take the time to learn how to promote yourself. And invest in yourself when you're not afraid to invest in yourself. If you're afraid, if you if you're not afraid to invest in some of the, you know, the gambles we take in life to survive, you gotta be not afraid to invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, you don't just, invest in yourself, you're not gonna get far anyway. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what you're doing it for. So marketing is is a lot behind the hip hop. That's my what I believe, man. Shout out to fucking IC Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Straight up, grinding. Corey Black, Brock, Bullet Brock, you know what I'm saying? They grinding, getting it in. And it's, it's a lot of hard work, you know what I'm saying? When we see each other, we working. We don't really hang out with each other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, all right. We, we see like each business. other, it's, it's, it's work. Street it's business, business, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. It's all love, we know we family, shit like that, but we don't really have time to hang out like that. I'm bopping through states, he bopping through states, like, and everybody, it's what it is, but it's, that's like, that's what, when, when people say hip hop, like, those are the things that run through my mind. Right. Like, I don't immediately think just shows, you know, say 16 bars and, because we got a lot, uh, lots of 16 bars. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> lots of 16 bars, lots of hard work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to know how to market that shit, so. Right. That's what I think of when, when, when I really, when you ask me, what do, I, what do I think about hip hop? I think about, you know, what it takes to really dedicate yourself as an artist who, who really believes in your passion, you know what I'm saying? You got to yeah. take it to the next level and know how to. Otherwise, you're going to be mad, man. You're going to be mad at somebody else because mm. they doing better. Business, speaking about, you know, as far because, you know, definitely I think most people for majority get into hip-hop straight for the love because especially coming from Annapolis, it's not like we got somebody to say, oh, yeah, somebody made it from here. 
or you know somebody somebody selling platinum or whatever so it's definitely a lot of dudes are doing it for the love right. but that business can can you know start I mean, I ain't gonna say it takes you down the wrong road because everybody chooses their own their own travels, right. you know. But it can definitely, you know, blind you to what's reality because you're like, man, I want to, I want to yeah. be successful. And yeah. and you know, I'm gonna ask you the question because I want you to talk about how you've been an entrepreneur in, through hip hop. Right. Well, I mean, first and foremost, I would say that you know what I'm saying. Like, I never stop, you know, believing in myself as a product. You know what I'm saying. Like yeah. on the real, like. I never, you know what I'm saying, wanted to really be famous or be rich off of music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I started doing that shit, like I said, it was for therapy. I loved that shit. Like, it inspired me, you know what I'm saying, to, to be creative. Like, we used to practice, you know, not trying to cuss and, and, and not trying to say certain words and, and, and really concept building on yeah. freestyle. Yeah. Like, really trying to hone your own craft. You know what I'm saying? And not hating, when I say not listening to music, like, not like hating on people, like, oh, I don't, I don't fuck with them, but just working so hard, not having time to listen to the music and enjoy music, but then appreciating people that enjoy your music when you realize how much work you done put in you, like, hey, yeah, man, yeah, you want some real shit, like, yeah, it's, it takes a lot, yo, it really takes a lot, but, um, I don't know, I feel like, uh, I feel like I, uh, I could do a lot more still. I'm, I'm 31, I'm still cracking, I got a lot of shit going. I, I like to take little hiatuses in between, you know what I'm saying, the big spurts of doing what I do, but um, I'm glad to see that, you know, we have something like this, man. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we ain't got but, but so many avenues around here, and it's not but so many people that actually believe in, you know, putting effort forth to something like this. Avenue. So what, 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 is. what would you say to those artists who think that it's gonna be easy for them to get that million dollar uh sign on bonus or or <laughs> contract and, and, and it's only like four hundred fifty thousand after taxes ask oprah i'm gonna tell you like this yeah, exactly <laughs> exactly i'm gonna tell you like this this is you know this is a lot of the guys if you're not really legitly like making yourself an entity and representing yourself as a strong entity by yourself and i mean like from your llc you know to your promotions to just everything like if you're not doing all that shit 120 percent and grinding yourself nine times out of ten if you're getting some sort of a distribution deal you're probably getting it from somebody who's trying to benefit off of you and like i said like you're a legit artist who has your shit lined up and you know who you're dealing with you know what i'm saying if you just you know all that all that sign on bonus shit is that's a facade yeah like that's you know what i'm saying like you that's a loan that it's, you gotta pay so, back, yeah, and you, they gonna get their money loan, back. Yo, yeah. They got they got hundred, they got million enough, dollar lawyers. This is all I say about it. This is all I say about that because that was a good question. This is what I say to the young young artists: If you're lucky enough to get in advance, just know what to do with it. Hmm. Okay. Just know what to do. So, yeah. I never will tell anybody that you can't do nothing or you can't see an advancement or you'll never make it there. Or you just gotta wait for some sleaze ball to try to get over on you. I would never say just that. Like there is that avenue, and I will tap on it before I would say anything else positive, and I already did. But I won't make it just that. I will say that if you really put forth it, like I said before, you can do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you gotta, man. You gotta know what you're doing. Man. You gotta pimp yourself. You gotta know what you're doing. Man. Put you on the spot real quick. Get yeah. some bars. <laughs> you know I got bars for yeah. days. See, I'm creating like oh so long. I'm paper chasing, making oh so songs, touring the world far. Mm. Why they fake it like they oh so strong? I break your fingers individually and play it on World Star. Mm. Grab a hold of that concept, Dick Rider. Try to steal my lines and efforts to make your shit hotter. Mm. Top shot of spit fire, expose a wag rapper for general purposes. Retire, I am sick of this bullshit. The Full clip and gun talk, no one let these fools with dip. Soon as gun spark. Mm. Son talk a lot of game, but he ain't saying nothing. That's why I call him my sons. Mm. I raise him up to something. Mm. They screaming out Ox for president. I'm yelling, fuck the government while stuffing my dungeons with green fluffy piff, a microphone fame with 16 addictions, whipping flows in my kitchens, having ciphers in my dreams. Mm. It's big ox. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
And you are you nominated for best collabo, best male artist. You know what I mean? How does it feel to represent your city? You know, we definitely try to take it to a global, a global uh, medium. You know what I'm right. saying? Or take it to a global, you know, avenue. But you know, how does it feel? You know, what I mean, to be considered yeah, one feels, of the top. It feels good. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, it feels good. I embrace people that you know what I'm saying. Love for you know, got love for what I do, yeah. and um, I never you know what I'm saying shun away from like that. You know what I'm saying like. It is what it is, man. If you work hard for your craft and you believe in yourself and you appreciate what you do as a human being in your own life, whatever you do, I don't give a fuck what you do. You can sell bananas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. if you believe in what you do and you appreciate it, when you see somebody else appreciate it, it makes you feel a feeling like, you know what I'm saying, people chase on drugs. It makes you feel a feeling like when you have, you know, 50,000 people clapping for you when you make a shot. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that same adrenaline rush. And if you know that you really you, you got a love for that that addiction, like that adrenaline rush, that you know what I'm saying, that appreciation, when you really realize you can get that and that shit is realer than anything you can get off of, you know what I'm saying? Selling and shit. Like that's real to me, yo. I make money off of hip hop. Fuck if you don't like me for it. But that is not you know what I'm saying? My main source of income. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not no rich rapper. I'm not trying to be. I'm Big Ox. Been making music for 16 years. And I just, it feels good to be a part of something like this. I'm mm -hmm. glad that everybody, you know, I'm proud of everybody else that got nominated. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's working hard. Like I said, if you're working hard, it will speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just blessed to be a part of all this. Like, I feels good. Yeah. I'm still getting it. I got my son spitting bars. Yeah. Shout out to my little man Miles. <laughs> we getting it in. You know what I'm saying? And other than that, I'm in the studio. Sleep.